Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to Justin's house. In this video, I'm doing an experiment. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I'm going to change a field type live and I don't know if I'm going to lose my data or not. So you should know I've already backed everything up. I used an export set, sent it over to my mid server. I've got a backup of it. And what you're looking at here is all the features that I've been tracking. And you can see down here on the bottom, I've been working really hard at 644 features that I've actually laid eyes on, I've reviewed, categorized, all that stuff. And here's my dilemma. If you look at my filter, only thing I can do on this last reviewed date and time is uh, this drop down right here, is, is not, and is anything. And that's not really like a date function. And so it's preventing my uh, ability to filter and have a better filter. Like for example, if I did created, notice I get this date, it knows it's a date time, right? So I can specify a specific date and time, I can go to today, I can do relative date time, but my last review date isn't working like that and it's frustrating. So um, I'm gonna do this live, I'm actually gonna change this, I'm gonna move over to studio. I've got the field up here. Now, this is what is interesting. The type of field that I configured this is a calendar date time. And this calendar date time actually extends the date time field. Um, if I look at that created date time, it is a date time field, like you can see right there. But if I look at what I configured, what Justin configured, it's this field right here, calendar date time. So I'm gonna set it back and we're gonna see what happens. Um, I could lose all the data and uh, I'll have to put it back if that happens, but let's just do it live. I'm gonna change this from calendar date time to date time. Will it let me? We won't even know. Will it let me do it? Let's see here, date time, there we go. Just took a little second there. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that and we're about to find out live what's gonna happen. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think is gonna happen? Am I gonna lose all my dates and times or is it gonna keep them? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. I'm gonna click on the other tab. There it is. I'm gonna refresh the page, reload, refresh list. And they're still there. So let's see if I got my ability to filter. I'm just gonna open up the filter here. And oh my gosh, guys, it actually worked. I was able to flip this to uh, the date field that I want. So let's go ahead and say we'll do on and we'll do this week. Stuff that are reviewed this week. You're gonna get a preview of Friday's um, video and it worked. I'm able to date time filter on that field. I did it live. It didn't break anything. I didn't have to import anything. So you saw it here first. I changed a field time, a field type from calendar date time to date time and didn't lose any of my data. I'm so happy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think is bold enough to go change field types on data that's really important to them. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.